Now, one thing about this B2C, this means that accounts are going to be um, of the type personal. So if I go back to users and I look at accounts, uh, because I did not add the Minium Accelerator, I don't have any of those accounts, you know, the Connolly Repair and the Leo Auto uh, or S Auto, those, aren't, those accounts aren't being created. So the only accounts I'm gonna have are gonna be personal accounts. Um, and right now I don't have any because nobody has visited the storefront and Speedwell does not create any for you. Now, in order to see an account show up here, you can either add a new account so we could go through that process of creating a new account, or if you're logged in the first time that you visit the site. So the first time you visit the site, an account will have been created for you. So if we go back and look at accounts now, test, test, that's who I'm logged in right now, that account has been created. And you'll see that the type is personal. Now, when you visit the site and you're logged in, it copies your name and your email from your user account, or I'm sorry, from your user object in LifeRay. It doesn't copy everything else. Uh, so there's an open issue right now, a feature request to copy as much information as possible, to copy the image and the billing and shipping address, or, or just at least to populate the address with those. Um, but for now, you're going to have to do that step manually. And I would recommend if you are going to be demonstrating B2C and you're going to have, you know, known users, authenticated users logging in and, and interacting with the store and buying things, go ahead ahead of time and create some addresses. So, you know, I might have a home address. Oops. And, you know, I might even have a work address. Maybe I ship things to work sometimes. So I'll say that that's a shipping address. And addresses work the same way as they would for um, a, a business account. Um, it is definitely possible that you would have this account information coming from ex some external system. So if, if you've got a CRM or if you have some other system that's tracking all of your customers, all of the individuals, you can use the exact same APIs that you would use to integrate for business accounts. You can use those same APIs to populate all of your users and accounts in LifeRay Commerce. So for now, I'm just gonna work with that one user. I've got my test test user and, and he has an address in here. Um, the rest of the features really work the same way. So organizations, for example, if I wanna have a sales agent that's gonna be managing a set of users, I can have a, an individual personal account assigned to an organization in the exact same way that I could uh, with a business account. So if you're familiar with the Minium storyline where we have Gloria, a sales agent, and she manages the uh, US accounts, we could do that same thing. We could still have Gloria. She could still be managing the U.S. accounts, but the U.S. accounts would be individual uh, consumers, not the, the B2B business accounts. Looking for more information on this topic or others? Check out our links in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.